Welcome to the eTutoring instructional video for getting live online help from our synchronous tutors. As you can see, I've logged into the homepage into eTutoring. And right now, as you can see in this Tutors Online Now box, there are no tutors online. So when no one's online, one good option is to check today's tutor schedule and make sure that a tutor is going to come on in the subject that you want sometime today. When a tutor does come online, you'll notice that their name is underlined. In this case, it's just a test account. And they'll have a little lightning bolt next to their room. It will tell you how many students are in the room. And you'll see a list of their subjects. To enter the tutor's live Zoom space, click on their name. And then you'll get this pop-up that says, do you want this page to open the Zoom app? You're going to click on Allow. Then you'll hear a doorbell tone when you enter the room. So this is the basic Zoom layout. Right now the tutor is sharing their whiteboard. So I want to show you a couple of the tools that you can use here. First is the participants panel. You can see who else is in the room. Next, you can click on chat to chat with their tutor. Highly recommend entering something into the chat box when you enter the room. You'll also notice down here on the lower left, you can mute and unmute your microphone here. You can also use video if you choose, though our tutors are not required to do so. To access the whiteboard tools, go up to view options at the top of the screen and select annotate and then your tools will appear. As you can see, now you have access to the tools. These include a text tool where you can type, a drawing tool which draws in addition to shapes, also allows you to draw with a pencil, a stamp tool which has preset things so you can approve love things or X them out, a spotlight tool, which you can use as either an arrow to show what you're talking about, or as a spotlight, where you can sort of point and drag around, and the tutor will see that red dot. You can use the eraser to erase things. All you do is click on the eraser, and then click near the object that you want to erase. In order to change the color of text, you're going to want to double click in the text box. Then click on format and you can change the font size, change it to italics, bold it, or of course change the color. Keep in mind that once you change a color, the color of an item, that becomes the new color that you will draw with. So if you want to draw something in a specific color, choose the color first and then draw it on the board. You can also use the undo button to undo everything that you did. And this steps backward step by step. So each thing that you did will be erased as you step backwards. You can redo to step forwards and redo the things that you did. And you can clear the entire whiteboard, either choosing clear all drawings, clear my drawings, or clear the viewer's drawings. You can also save the whiteboard if you wish. If you find that audio isn't working for you, click on this downward facing arrow near the, the microphone button and choose what you want to use as a microphone, what you want to use as a speaker, or you can run a test for your speaker and your microphone. When you're done with your session, click on more and then leave meeting, or you can simply X the corner of the Zoom room and then Go down to leave meeting and you'll leave the meeting. That concludes eTutoring's Zoom orientation for students. Thanks for watching.